Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fallen. I'm here with Aline Beckman Legorreta. I'm a Mexican young filmmaker, and uh, the film I did is a short film called My Name is Nina. Okay, so for people who are not familiar with your film, can you give us a, uh, like a 30 to a minute uh, synopsis of the film? Yes, of course. It is a metaphor about life and death and the relationship with a, grand gir well, a girl and her grandfather and the similarities they have between them. Mm -hmm. Like the, the circle of life is closing between them. The, um, the old age are sometimes like child and they can be good friends. Mm -hmm. And it's a story about the girl, how she, she faces death with fantasy and innocence. Okay. So what made you decide to choose this topic for your film out of kind of all the possibilities that are out there? Well, my grandfather died. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so it's two years ago, but I loved him and he was a very good person. So since that moment, I started investigating what it hurt so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, death always hurts, but mm -hmm. I figured out that death is hidden from children. Mm -hmm. They tell them like, everything's okay, and they never tell them the truth. And they're the innocent, the ones that can understand the real thing about death. So I wanted to make a film for my grandfather and also to tell the world how we can see that and how can we be more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. So I tried to make also a, a cozy film so they could understand that language and feel their, their own history. Okay, yeah. Where did you shoot it? In Mexico. In Mexico. Mexico yeah. What part? Uh, in Mexico City, in the okay. south part of Mexico City, Pedregal. Yeah, most maybe, most Americans might not know that. Might, they just go to Playa del Carmen and that's all they know. It's like, or Cancun, it's like, oh, Cancun, that's Mexico. But <laughs> I have a friend who's going down south actually in January with his family and he was showing me yesterday and I was like, oh, never been to that part of Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> and it's very big, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people might not, not know this because like I said, once again, Cancun and spring break, that's all they know. Um, <laughs> From day one, well, working on the film, to kind of the last day of post editing and production, how long did it take you? Uh, from filming, uh, six months. Okay. And with pre-production, the script and everything, a year. A year, okay. Um, so, here we are in the Hamptons International Film Festival. Um, can you tell us what's the plans for the film? Are you doing uh, a festival run? Or do you plan on doing physical distribution, digital distribution? Um, what's the plans for the film? For now, uh, my plans are to go to more festival films. This is my first one, it's a world premiere. Oh wow, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I want it to be this one, I like mm. this festival. So, I'm waiting for some answers on other festivals, and I'm gonna put it on more festivals, even though, and after that, after I have all the festivals I want, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna distribute it. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, if you can point out one part that has been the hardest while working, or the biggest obstacle you had to overcome while working on this film, can you point one out? It was myself. Yeah. Which is uh, not, uh, you, don't, you don't hear that answer every single day. I'll yeah, give you that. I know, I know. <laughs> but it, I've told it before, so I'm ready for it. <laughs> no, it's what myself actually. I worked with that film for a long time, and the research I did was from years be behind. So at the moment, when I was doing the script, I didn't realize that I changed the point of view at the end. Mm -hmm. And nobody realized actually. <laughs> so when I was in post production, the film didn't work oh. at all. <laughs> so I didn't want to present it for so, some moments, but I, I thought I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight for it. So it's worth it. Yeah. So they always tell you to take away the scene you you love, and I took away the scene I loved, mm -hmm. and it worked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was myself. Ouch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Now, let's talk about the opposite side of the spectrum. What has been the biggest high while working on this project as well? The amazing crew and cast, especially Nina. I learned from her a lot. <laughs> she was am amazing. We practiced some days and everything, but the day we were shooting, she was totally Nina, and she knew everything she was super... Well, what Nina was, and she was, she became Nina, and she's not even an actress. <laughs> so, I figured out if people wants to engage the character, they, it, they can. And it doesn't matter if, if you're a new actress or not, so mm -hmm. I learned a lot from her. So now I'm not looking only for actors, I'm looking for a special person that knows how to feel that guy. Mm -hmm. No, to get into that character and kind yeah, of just exactly. dive in. So yeah, it was her first role. Uh, you're, you're talking about how she's never been an actress before, so that was her first time acting? Exactly. Oh wow, and you, you loved her, wow, that's great. Yeah. So. Um, now, you talk about how this is your world premiere of the film. 
Um, have you ever received any sort of response uh, from maybe the fans or the industry professionals at all yet? Yeah, in Mexico I have. Uh -huh. uh, how has that been so far? Very good, actually. Yeah. yeah, since I told you that I hit it for a moment, it was <laughs> weird for me that I saw the people's reaction, and they wrote to me, they spoke to me, and they told me the most beautiful things about my film, things I didn't even know about them. <laughs> so some people laughed, some people cried, and at the end, they were like the exact reaction I wanted, and I didn't know I was gonna get it. <laughs> they were, they felt a lot, mm -hmm. and they, it was like their own story, and that's what I want people to feel. Mm -hmm. So that'll be kind of, in a way, the message that you want people to take away from the film. Exactly. Now, some of our audience uh, are aspiring filmmakers themselves. Um, so I was just wondering, do you, I'm sure over your career you're obtained a, a, a bucket full of advice that you carry around. But in a way, if you could reach into that bucket and pull out the most crucial advice, do you have one that you can kind of pass on to the future generation of filmmakers? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Put you on the spot right there. <laughs> Okay, uh, well I think, I have plenty of them, but the most important thing I think is the one I just told, to, to see if, it, if it's your fault and change it. Mm -hmm. So not to be proud mm -hmm. and think more, more of the film than of yourself. Yeah, don't, don't let your ego get in the way. Exactly, then, yeah. <laughs> now the next question I have for you is that, um, it's an evolving question because we asked it last year at the festival. Um, the film industry has advanced greatly over the past 30 years or so. Uh, I mean, talking about back in the day when people were talking about cutting film, they would actually have the film and they would cut it and put it together and that's how it's done. In 2014, the technology progressed very greatly. We have DSLR cameras, REDs, 4K resolution. So techno technology has advanced, but the industry also. I mean, there's Netflix, there's Hulu, YouTube. Vimeo, uh, Fandor, all these different platforms are emerging, VOD. Where would you want to see the industry go in the next five years? Whoa, that's a hard one. <laughs> Once again, putting you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, um, in five years. Well, actually, I'm against people that say that cinema is going to end. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to end, it's an experience. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have Netflix and everything, and they're, they're, that ama is amazing. And it's easier for films to go to some places they couldn't go. But the experience of going to a cinema and have everything, have everything black and no noise and an audience enjoying the thing, same thing, same thing as you are, uh, I think is gonna have in five years much more importance than it does now. Right now they're thinking, oh, it's gonna end, and when they figure out it's not gonna end. I think they're gonna say, okay, we're gonna take advantage of it. Yeah, I was talking to someone yesterday about it, and they were talking about how there's something special about going to a cinema in a dark room, like you said, and laughing. Everybody in that laugh room either laughing together or crying together, and it's the same room with the same emotion with the people that you, you're never gonna talk to or even meet again, having that same emotion just because there is a picture on the screen and you have that connection. But in a way, with the new film Major Runner, what they're doing to kind of bring theaters still kind of um, having focus is that they've been adding additional screens. I'm not sure you know this or not, but Major Runner has three screens with it. So it kind of gives you the surround experience going on. So in a way, there are the film industry the professionals that have the same feelings like you that don't try to put technology in a way so that does not die. So they'll hopefully see that. Um, now, because we're kind of a digital media company, we've been talking about digital media for the whole time. For people who want to get more information about your film, are you on? Do you have a website, Twitter, Facebook, all the way? Yeah, I have a website. It's called Cocoa y Oye y mm -hmm. Cacao dot com. Mm -hmm. It's a Mexican word. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna include everything for the spelling. <laughs> well, well, you can find my name, Aline Beckman de Gorreta, mm -hmm. and you're gonna find the web page. Are you on social media at all, or? And we'll, yeah, also we have on Facebook. My Facebook. name is Nina. Okay, yeah. so you can find it on Facebook and check out the website. And good luck, like I said, doing the rest of the festival run. And Thank as more you. information develops, we hopefully can do a follow-up with you. Okay, Thank great. you very much. Thanks. Nice to meet you. you too.